Good afternoon, North America. I'm Dave Jabob with a peer minute of sports commentary. Johnny Manziel is the football equivalent to one of those pop stars who rises to fame quickly and then falls off the ledge just like Humpty Dumpty. Now, I'm not saying Johnny is going to rehab anytime soon or that his sophomore follow-up album is going to be a flop. But if you take a look back at some of the recent uh, pop star falls from grace, you know, Britney Spears, Lindsay Lohan, and that Amanda Bynes chick. Who is Amanda Bynes anyways? You can see pretty easily that Johnny Manziel is on a similar path to those recent pop stars who have fallen from grace. Now, the NCAA has been following Johnny Manziel all summer. They've had private detectives following him around from city to city as he travels North America, signing autographs. They have done it. They've thrown down the gauntlet. The NCAA has suspended Johnny Menzel for a whopping 30 minutes of football. This is the most ridiculous suspension in the history of suspensions. 30 minutes of football. Johnny can't play. Basically, he can be in the stadium. He can listen to the coach at halftime, uh, but he can't play football for 30 minutes. He's also being suspended for what? He's being suspended for not doing anything, but for coming close to doing something. That being said, nobody has ever accused the NCAA of being Spock-like in any of its decisions. And that's how I see it. I'm Dave DeBaugh with a peer minute, or I should say an extended minute, of peer sports commentary.